Understanding the Euronext Stock Exchange What is the Euronext? Euronext is the first pan-European exchange spanning Belgium, France, the Netherlands, Portugal and the UK. Euronext provides access to our markets through five different listing venues. Euronext also has representation in Germany, Switzerland, Spain and Italy. From young growth oriented companies to long established enterprises. Euronext offers various types of markets with multiple entry points to provide our issuers with a tailor-made listing offer. Euronext regulated market is mainly dedicated to large cap and mid cap companies. Euronext growth provides fewer obligations and is intended primary to small and mid cap growth companies. Euronext access is a MTF offering companies at an early stage an easy access to capital markets and a framework adapted to their specific needs. Euronext is the largest cash market in Europe by numbers of transactions registered in the central order book. The Eurostock 50 stock index comprises 26 Euronext listed issuers. As of June 2021, the stock exchange is one of the largest in Europe with 1,900 issues. These issues represent 6 trillion market funding. It also has about 350 trading members and over 6,000 global investors. History of the Euronext The Euronext was founded in 2000 as a blend between Amsterdam Stock Exchange, the Brussels Stock Exchange and the Paris Bourse. After the European Union was formed, the stock exchanges opted to combine. This was done to get the most from the newly joined financial markets of the common area. The stock exchange went public for the first time in 2001 through its initial public offering, its IPO. In 2001 and 2002, the Euronext added the London International Financial Futures and Options Exchange and added the Portuguese stock exchange, known as the BVLP. This move made it one of the world's largest stock exchanges. These events made the stock exchange pleasing to global stock exchanges that were looking to expand or build up their presence in European markets. In 2006, the Nasdaq moved to acquire the London Stock Exchange, which promoted the New York Stock Exchange to pursue the Euronext. Germany's stock market tried to outbid the New York Stock Group, but failed. The merger took place in April 2007. The Germans tried to merge with the New York Stock Exchange Euronext two more times, but the exchange was acquired by the Intercontinental Exchange in 2013. The Intercontinental Exchange decided to pursue an IPO of the New York Stock Exchange Euronext. The split was made in June 2014. The Euronext eventually traded on its own on the New York Stock Exchange under the new ticker symbol ENX. Why invest in the Euronext? The Euronext is one of the largest stock exchanges in not just only Europe, but in the entire world. This makes it a place where people want to invest their money. This is the climate that has led to merger and acquisitions interests on the part of the stock exchanges in the past since the stock exchanges tend to realize large economics of scale and entering new markets is hard from a regulatory standpoint. Euronext has a market capitalization of about $9.6 billion as of June 2021. It made $1,364 million in revenue. It also has 70% cash equity market share, a reported 58% EBITDA margin, and has offices in 20 countries. Euronext earned an S&P rating of BBB, showing a stable outlook. As long as investing in the stock exchange, you might want to put your money into one of the many indexes that are a part of the exchange. These indexes provide unique exposure to several national equity markets, including those in Amsterdam, France, Portugal and London. P 
People looking to get into these markets may want to look at exchange traded funds, ETFs, backed by these major indices or many of its other indices. You should also be aware of the risks that come along with investing in the Euronext and its indices. The stock exchange is reliant on the health of the Eurozone and the European Union economies. A downturn in these areas could, could adverse impact on trading actions and earnings for the Euronext. A downturn could also impact the value of companies listed on the exchange and, and the indices that are made up of these equities. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, please leave a like and subscribe. Leave your thoughts on the Euronext stock exchange in the comments down below and come back next week for more case studies and all business and financial news that you need.